What if Goku and Broly were sent to planet Earth? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 8? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku and Broly were sent to planet Earth. We mentioned that after killing Cell, Goku and Broly lived a 7 years of peace as they have managed to go and get a lot stronger. Goku with his autonomous ultra instinct power, he managed to kill Cell but he couldn't get an answer of how to regain that power throughout the 7 year gap. One day the Supreme Kai came to Broly and Goku and told him about the danger of Majin Buu. They then decided to go and infiltrate Majin Buu's ship with Vegeta, Gohan, Supreme Kai. Once when they got there, Babri went and used his magic to control Broly as he managed to bring out Broly's legendary Super Saiyan power and from there he became Majin Broly. Not being able to stop Broly even at Super Saiyan 3 Goku's newfound power, Goku then went and unlocked his autonomous ultra instinct yet again and he went and knocked Broly out. He then went and killed Babri and from there, Goku fainted along with Broly. Vegeta went and he beat up Majin Buu but Majin Buu managed to go and absorb Vegeta. Gohan and Goku Broly managed to escape with the Supreme Kai as he took them to their world and now he decided what to do to stop Majin Buu. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku and Broly were sent to planet Earth part 8? After releasing the old Kai from the Z-Sword, he then went and sat down with Gohan and he started to go and unlock Gohan's potential. While that was happening, Goku and Broly were knocked out cold from their battle and Kapito Kai hasn't returned back yet to the sacred world of the Kais. Meanwhile back on Earth, Piccolo has come to face this Super Buu as he tried to stop him from killing innocent life. Boo went and absorbed Piccolo as he went and also absorbed Goten, Trunks and even Mai, making him a lot stronger. While he kept going on a killing spree, Gohan's training has end as the old Kai said, There Gohan, you're now finished, I have managed to unlock your potential. Huh? I'm confused, what you do? We did nothing but just sit around. Hey, don't scream at me, just go to your Super Saiyan state whatever. As Gohan went and he powered up to his Super Saiyan state and from there he has unlocked his mystic power. Out of nowhere, Kapito Kai has arrived to the Supreme Kai's world as everyone saw him and he said please forgive me Supreme Kai. I was being attacked by Majin Buu so I had no place to go and he managed to hurt me as I was knocked out cold. But when I woke up, I saw what happened to Earth and I came back here. Hmm. I'm so glad you're okay, Kapito Kai. And yes, the Earth has got a lot more worse. Majibu became a lot dangerous. He managed to absorb Vegeta, and he also absorbed the rest of the strong Earthling that's there. This is not good, Supreme Kai. Where's Goku and Brawly? They're over there. Hey, wait! That's amazing! You're here, actually! It just clicked to me! You can heal Goku! Uh, yes, sir, I can, but why you have so much expectation for Goku? Uh, he could handle Majin Buu easily! With all due respect, Supreme Kai, don't you think you have too much hope for this mortal? Kapito, you weren't there when I saw Goku use his true power. That flow of energy, that eyes, the movement he went, I can't explain it. It was just so spontaneously amazing. It's like he was moving without thinking. What? Are you serious? This mortal right here? Yes! At this day from what I saw, he's even stronger than Lord Beerus if he uses true potential power. No way! Beerus the Destroyer? Listen, we don't got time. I need you to go and heal him. 
This mortal is very special. Oh my gosh, to think that this mortal is stronger than Beerus the Destroyer. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I'll begin to heal them both. As Kapito Kai went to heal Goku and Brawly. Gohan with his newfound powers, this mystic form. He then was ready to go to enter battle to fight Majin Buu as his mystic power level came to be at 100 sextillion. Kapito Kai managed to heal Goku and Broly as they woke up and then Goku saw Gohan was getting ready to go. Supreme Kai saw Goku and said, You're finally up Goku, yes! Things have gotten a lot worse without you, but now you're here, you can stop Majin Buu! I'm so glad you're okay Goku! Huh? I I'm confused, what happened Supreme Kai? And Buu's gotten a lot stronger? Yes! He managed to absorb Vegeta and now he went on a killing spree killing everyone and he's very dangerous but it's okay with your newfound power that you used to stop Broly you could easily kill Majin Buu hmm it's not so easy Supreme Kai I can't what do you mean Goku what I mean is I can't use that power at will this power just comes out at its own it's like my body just reacts automatically to it don't worry this young Saiyan right here Gohan is strong enough to beat him by himself Gohan then came to Goku as Goku told Gohan to go and protect the earth and make him proud. Gohan went and hugged Goku and then he hugged Broly and said goodbye to his father and uncle and then he left towards earth to fight Majin Buu. Once when Gohan got there, he sensed just how powerful Buu was and he went and flew right towards him to confront Majin Buu. Buu then looked at Gohan and said, <laughs> So. Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Buu? Fight you? No, I want to kill you. As Gohan went and decked Buu very hard in the face, Buu fell down as he got up and he tried to punch Gohan, but Gohan dodged his attack like if there were nothing. And from there they went and started to fight with one another, Gohan displayed his new mystic power as he went and started to beat the shit out of Majin Buu. Buu was getting very frustrated that how come he couldn't touch Gohan and from there he went and tried to release some attacks blasts at Gohan but Gohan's newfound mystic power was too much for Majin Buu. Witnessing his new power, Supreme Kai was so happy that he couldn't believe Gohan is this powerful and from there Gohan went and told Majin Buu that I'm here to kill you once and for all and I'm here to fight on behalf of my father and my entire planet, you're done. As Gohan went, and he started to punch Majin Buu non-stop. Majin Buu got very mad and pissed off that why is Gohan so strong and from there he went and started to power up his body. Gohan sensed that Majin Buu was about to explode himself trying to kill Gohan with him and from there he went and escaped the scene as Majin Buu went and exploded into a million of pieces. But then he went and regenerated. Gohan came back and he saw Majin Buu had regenerated and he looked at Gohan and he was smiling the whole time. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Gohan, you're very strong, <laughs> no doubt about that. But you know what your brothers thinks about you? They think you're a loser. Piccolo, everyone thinks you're a failure. <sighs> that's not fair, you're, that's you talking on their behalf. No Gohan, they're telling me. And you made another mistake. Oh yeah? But the only mistake I made is letting you talk so much as Gohan went and started to beat the shit out of Majin Buu non-stop. Gohan kept destroying Buu and he kept regenerating himself. Gohan then got mad and said it's time to finish you off once and for all. I was just toying with you but now I must end this battle. As he went and powered up a huge Kamehameha wave to throw at Majin Buu. This blast was powerful enough to kill him in the spot and stop him from regenerating. Before Gohan can release a Kamehameha wave, Majin Buu laughed and said, You missed a point Gohan, I didn't fully regenerate. As Gohan saw his arm was missing a piece and that piece was on Gohan's clothes. As it spread it and it went and covered Gohan's entire body and from there Majin Buu went and absorbed Gohan, making him Buu Han. His power level came to be at 900 septillion. As he laughed with joy and said, Yes! No one can touch me! I am now the great Majin Buu and I will kill everyone! 
as he went on a killing spree and he started to kill anyone that's there. Goku saw this and said, Oh no, that's not good Supreme Kai, I'm gonna stop him, me too. Wait, you guys don't, if you go he'll just absorb you and therefore he'll be a lot more stronger. You said yourself Goku, you can't go into that state. And Broly, you said you can't go to that legendary Super Saiyan either. Neither of you guys with the true power is enough to beat him. He will demolish you guys. All you'll do is just make him stronger and make our case worse to stop him. Well, I don't know, I have to do something. After all, I told you my body reacts on its own. Maybe it will react towards him and I could kill him then. What if it doesn't, Goku? He could absorb you and then you'll be done. Wait, actually never mind. You're right. That's a smart idea. How come I didn't think of it? All right, Goku, go. Try to make him push you to your limits and then you could use that newfound powers and kill him. Can you stop talking like an idiot for once? Huh? My god, take off your earrings! My earrings? Take it off! Goku, Broly, catch! There's no way I'm gonna let you guys go there and rely on your hidden power. Take this earring! What do, I want? What do you want me to do with this earring? What I want is for you to put it on your right ear and Broly, you put it on your left ear. Once you do that, both you guys will fuse to become one. Uh, I think Okai, you lost it by being stuck inside the sword for so long. <laughs> no, you goofball, I'm serious. Wear it, and you two will become one. Therefore, you can easily kill Majin Buu. Really? You mean like something like fusion? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Wow, Broly, can you imagine you and me fuse? Just how powerful that will be. My gosh. Just think about it, giving the chills, Goku. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it then. As Goku and Broly went, and they used their earring, and they fused to become one. As Goku and Broly now became Crawly, and he looked at the Kai's and said, Hmm, a fusion between Kakarot and Broly. Call me Crawly. That is so amazing. But listen, you guys, now that you guys fuse, go to Earth now and fight him. This fusion has a limit of one hour, so you must finish him off before that one hour is up. Hmm, don't, don't worry. Leave, leave it to us, us old Kai. We, we will kill, kill this Majin Buu easily. easily. And, and even save, save our, our son's life. life. While, While we're, we're going, going now, say take care. care. Crawley's parallel came to be at 400 nonlillion. As he went, an instant transmission right in front of Majin Buu. Majin Buu saw him and said, Just who the hell are you? Hmm. You, you can, can call me Crawley, a fusion between Goku and Broly. I'm here to finish you off, Buu. <laughs> And how do you think you can do that, Crawly? Crawly then went and kicked Boo right in the face and he started to slap Boo around as Boo went and threw a huge blast at them. But Crawly went and dispersed the attack and said, Wow, you're really dangerous. I can't take you lightly. And now since I'm Crawly, let me introduce you something. <laughs> Call me Super Crawly. Making this parallel be at 900 Nolillion, the battle between Crawly and Super Boo began. As Boo went and started to attack Crawly with everything he's got, but Crawly was toying with Boo as he went and started to attack Boo non stop. Boo wasn't able to land a single hit on Crawly as Boo was getting very frustrated and said, You're a cheater! You became this strong because you two knew that you need to fuse in order to win against me. Oh! Say he's the one who stole all of our sons and friends power just to get stronger. Shut up! I have more people inside me, so I should be stronger. <laughs> it's all about quality, my friend, not quantity. And Boo, what you stole 
is this power that you know how to use. While us, we have this power in us. We're Saiyans. We know exactly what to do with power. And I have so much power left inside me, I can easily finish you off. Uh, what the hell are they doing? They only got 35 minutes left. They can easily destroy Boo. Why are they toying? Huh, these Saiyans. I gave Vegeta, Gohan, my Piccolo, Trunks, and even Goten. All them a chance, but they failed and I went and absorbed them. And they all told me, before Boo can finish, Crawley went and punched him right in the face and started to beat the shit out of Boo, non-stop punching him, kicking him, and even slapping him around. Boo tried to attack Crawley with everything he's got as he went and powered up to his full power, but it couldn't phase Crawley. As Crawley went in mid-air and came right down to Boo and punched it right in the face. Boo fell to the ground and then he started to scream as he caused a rip through between the dimension. Crawley saw that and he went and powered through the scream and he punched Boo right in the face as Boo fell down and he got up and Crawley went and hit him with the eraser cannon. He then regenerated and accepted defeat but out of nowhere some of Boo's part was covering Crawley and he said you're right I lost. Psych sucker! As Crawley was trying to be covered by Boo's goo and Crawley said this better work and he went and got absorbed as he went right inside Boo. Inside Boo's stomach, Crawley was there walking around as he put a barrier on himself to protect him from being absorbed by Majin Boo. Crawley then went and started to find everyone that Boo has absorbed as he was running out of time and Old Kai was tripping out and was getting scared that if Crawley lost and if he got absorbed, it's the end of the earth. But Shinkai said, wait! We can go and ask Lord Beerus to finish him off once he wakes up. Hmm, good idea. I think we should do that. But wait, how come he's not changing? After Majibu absorbs someone, he always changes their to their clothes. I think they managed not to absorb them. Boo went and killed everyone that was there to kill some time. And from there, he made plan to go to different universes and destroy all the people that's there. Meanwhile inside his stomach, Crawley went and he saw Gohan all sealed up and he went and freed him, Piccolo, Trunks, Goten and even Mai, causing Boo to feel extreme pain and from there once they pulled him out, they even pulled out Vegeta and they instant transmission out of there. Once they came back, Boo was screaming and he started to transform back to his original state as his parallel decreased massively, making him go back to Fat Boo. Crawley went and saw that Boo wasn't really a threat and that he needed a friend as he went and told Boo to be good and that he will be his friend. Boo then looked at Crawley and said, You be Boo's friend? Yep, I'll, I'll be your, your friend, friend from now on. No, no more, more killing, killing, Boo. Boo promised, no more killing. As Boo was happy and he became one of the Z fighters. But Jida and Gohan were very surprised to see Crawley as Supreme Kai and Old Kai came to Earth to celebrate with them that they managed to save the day, Gohan asked Crawley, Who are you guys? And wow, you guys are Saiyans? Oh my god, your guys' power level is so amazing! But how are they Saiyans arrived? And where's Kakarot and Brawly? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at us right now, Vegeta. We are actually Goku and Brawly fused to become one. But due to time, Goku and Brawly then separated. And that's when they saw that they used the earrings to fuse. They then went to Supreme Kai and gave back the earrings as he was very excited and told Goku and Brawly that I can't believe you guys did it! That's so amazing! You managed to save the day and even make Majibu on our side! Damn, we're, we were very strong, I love it! But actually I'm very hungry, I need to eat. <laughs> Me too! But first let's go and wish back everyone. They then went and used the Dragon Balls to wish back everyone that died by Boo and now that the Earth has peace, thanks to the greatest hero Goku and Brawly. They then went and celebrated at Bulma's house. Meanwhile, back in an unknown planet, a destroyer has awakened from his slumber. As Whis came to Beerus and said, Lord Beerus, there's something you might like to know about some mortal Saiyan. Find out what happens as Beerus the destroyer has just woken up and he also woken up with the prophecy of fighting a super saiyan god. Find out what happens in the next part Make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know when the next episode of What If Goku and Broly were sent to Planet Earth Part 9.